Hey what are you sitting and here is our second tutorial into a deeper look at what secular humanism is. So it's really important to remember that humanism isn't another word for atheism. The word humanism, like all words, has really long histories and has had lots of different meanings at different times and in different places. In English it actually started back in the 19th century. Since then it's had two uses. One is a historical one to refer back to the culture and scholarship of the Renaissance, and we usually call this Renaissance humanism. The second use of the word has been to refer to a non-religious worldview, a set of beliefs and values that together constitute a certain approach to life. The precise content of those beliefs and values is up for debate and also negotiation. Just like any idea that history has, but broadly speaking, humanists are people who don't look outside of reality for moral guidance or ways to understand the universe. They try to understand the world that we live in by using reasoning, evidence and experience bundled together in the scientific method. Humanists are people who think that morality is not some unnatural thing from outside, but something that's in us. It's based in biology and then built upon by culture. Morality doesn't come from outside, from tablets of stone, but again is with inside us. It's generated essentially by humanity itself. When we think about questions like right or wrong, we don't need to look for rules and commandments from authorities. We need to think for ourselves about the consequences of our action and have a this is the only real context when we're approaching morality. The point of the word human and humanism is to emphasize human things as opposed to divine things. Because the great contrast in the age between these two viewpoints is the way in which they think. Either you locate yourself thinking that there is the divine sphere, ever so elevated, looking to the world to come, or you locate yourself um, thinking in the human sphere. It's today, it's here and now. Deal with today's problems and find your meaning in life and purpose in the earthly sphere. So the word is a bit of a problem, first of all, because humanism really isn't an ism. It's not a doctrine that's rolled out. It's applied to a pre-existing range of beliefs and attitudes that have been created by humanity itself. So the essential unity of humanity is really important to humanists. The fact that we've only got one planet, one life and one chance should be enough of a motivator to think seriously about the problems of the world and not just throwing our hands up in despair. But also the commitment that humanists have to moral equality between human beings also has a really political dimension. It's just not that we should treat everyone kindly. It's a more urgent call to justice than that. If we take all of the ideas together seriously, then we have the same obligation to a refugee at our borders as to a homeless person living on our street in the corner. And I think that's a really beautiful part of humanism. That's powerful thinking, and it's just not at a theoretical level. There are many humanitarian workers uh, who are motivated by humanist beliefs, and have taken them into action in our world. So it's a real focus on the human being and the value of the human being. Basically, we've got one planet, one life, and one opportunity that we should take it because there is no divine God or being. So thank you for watching our video tutorial today, and I hopefully that adds a bit of zest to your understanding of humanism.